it is likely to be a very bad forest fire season. If it feels like wildfire season has become more intense in recent years, you're not alone. With 2023 setting records for Canadian wildfires, there's significant concern for what lies ahead. But what exactly is responsible for the worsening state of wildfires? While wildfires have always been around, climate change is having an impact. With rising temperatures, conditions that are prone to fires are created as the warm weather dries up the vegetation. Now that, coupled with little to no rain, a wildfire can start basically at any given moment. And many of the wildfires that take place don't start naturally. On average, 67% of wildfires in Alberta are caused by people. While measures are put in place to help reduce wildfire risk, like bans on campfires to prevent an accidental ignition, there are many factors, whether human-related, in the case of discard cigarettes, or something natural, like with lightning, that can still start a fire. And if windier conditions become more prevalent as the weather changes, wildfires can spread quickly. Then there's the matter of something called zombie fires, flameless fires that burn underneath the surface that can last throughout the winter. And after the snow has melted and warmer temperatures take hold, reignite. Though other prevention methods can be very effective in helping deter fires, like with prescribed burns, something that is even done on the local level to help preserve ecosystems, it's not enough. Even if you live far away from Alberta or British Columbia, where much of the country's wildfires take place, you may not be immune to its effects, as evident from the 2023 wildfires where parts of the East Coast were shrouded in haze and saw degradation in air quality. And if you happen to live in areas where wildfires are frequent, be sure to check with your local government for notices regarding fire bans or evacuations. 